What's standing out to you in terms of this essential practice and what, what is it making you think about in terms of the work today? Definitely thinking individually, right? Like every kid had their own and you could, you could kind of see their thinking by what they were doing with their, with their materials, right? Mm -hmm. Which is always a nice thing I think to think about, um, helps for me anyway. That notation, right? Starting with that informal and then like if I, like you said, Nick, if I were going in tomorrow, developing that informal into that formal notation. Like I did three and four and then I wrote seven next to it and actually writing that, what might that look like if we were writing that in a number sentence. Sharing their strategies and sharing with each other um, strategies, I think that that's always a, a really good thing. One thing that I have done with the kindergartners, with that group, but um, they're not really strong in this, is sharing someone else's thinking. So a lot of times when I, when I put kids in to do a turn and talk, I'll say then to them, um, okay, when we're done, I'll say, well, what did your partner say? right? Or you tell them ahead of time, you're not going to share what you said, you're going to share what your partner said. Um, kindergartners is, it's a little bit trickier for some of them because they're just so egocentric, right? They want to share what they said. They don't remember what the other person said. Probably working more on that. Um, I think that we talked, uh, we did a lot of things that really promoted that sense making and de-emphasizing that speed. There wasn't, you know, who got it first, that wasn't a thing, right? Like we just waited um, until kids had a time to do that.